a great left winger, Fiery Ted Lindsay of the Detroit Red Wings. Just an incredible, incredible human being and obviously one of the great, great Red Wings of all time. Slow or fast from either side of the net, Ted Lindsay can score them from all angles. He was a finisher and he was a, a player that had to be reckoned with because he was really tough to check and also if you really took advantage of him, you're going to pay for it. You have to love the game to play it. Uh, no human being would take the punishment that we take without loving it. When Ted Lindsay walks in the room, people just get better. Drop pass to Ted Lindsay, who cross-checks Ken Mazel. When I played hockey, the only thing I had was effort. Talent I lacked, but effort I had. Ted Lindsay scores! The crowd goes wild. Ted Lindsay wasn't the greatest player in NHL history, but he was good, really good. He was skilled and he was tough. He was admired and feared. He was a leader and he was a man of principle and he made a difference. Born in 1925 in Renfrew, Ontario, one of five boys in a family of nine, Lindsay started playing when he was age nine. His father, Bert, a former professional goaltender, managed to put enough money together during the Great Depression to buy Ted a pair of skates. Lindsay's star began to rise when he moved to Toronto to play for the legendary St. Michael's College School. And he won a Memorial Cup in 1944 with the Oshawa Generals. He turned professional in 1944-45, given a two-year one-way contract becoming the first son of an original six NHL player to join the league. He only stood five foot eight and he weighed just 160 pounds, yet he soon earned the nicknames Terrible Tempered Ted, Terrible Teddy, and even Scarface for the more than 700 stitches he earned over his 17 year career. Ted Lindsay draws a minor penalty for cross-checking Morris Richard. I compare him with Rocket Richard was really an intense, competitive person. Teddy was the same way. With him, it didn't stop when he got off the ice. That, that stayed. <laughs> Carried over off the ice, too, you know. But that's the kind of competitor he was. Detroit's production line, Sid Abel, number 12, Ted Lindsay, number 7, and Gordie Howe, number 9, dominates the play. The moniker was in part given because of the points they produced and because they played in America's automotive capital. It was a perfect fit. And off Sid Abel's pass, Ted Lindsay scores into the empty goal. He won the Stanley Cup four times in total with the Wings, the final two as captain, and he was eight times a first team All-Star. I always said he was probably one of the smartest hockey players I ever played with. Along with several other players, Lindsay helped to create the Players Association to fight for players' rights. To say the least, Lindsay wasn't popular with management. He and general manager Jack Adams didn't talk for years. He was stripped of his captaincy. And after Lindsay's best year before the 1957-58 season, he was traded to Chicago, along with goaltender Glenn Hall. The trade broke Lindsay's heart. Two or three months before the trade was actually announced in the paper, I had been, uh, I knew, of course, things hadn't been too good for about three years for me in Detroit, between management and myself. About the only time we talked was at contract time. The trade had more to do with Lindsay's key role in organizing the early version of the NHL Players Association than his hockey skills. Our first game in Chicago, we played Toronto and we won one nothing. I got the shutout and Teddy got the lone goal. And I thought, well, the trade turned out pretty good for, for Chicago. Lindsay played with the Hawks for three seasons and helped make them better before retiring. Abel, who later became Detroit's coach and general manager, convinced Lindsay to return for one more season. Deep down, he wanted to retire as a Red Wing. Lindsay's plan to come back into the big league hockey was, I think, one of the best kept secrets. And there you see old Scarface looking just as he did when he left the league four years ago. Look at the welcome he's getting in the Detroit Olympia. He was inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame in 1966. And in 1977, Lindsay returned to Detroit as general manager 
and later as interim coach, helping to make them better again. On November 10th, 1991, the Red Wings retired Lindsay's number seven. Ted never thought of himself as a great player, but he was as great as he was feared, an honest player, an honest man. Thanks to the players, it means so much to win this award on behalf of you guys. Next to Mr. Lindsay himself, what he's meant for the players, what he's done for the PA, um, you know, we, we wouldn't be here without him. In 2010, the next great honor was bestowed upon him, the naming of the Ted Lindsay Award, which is given to the player who best embodies the skill, determination, and competitive spirit of Ted Lindsay as voted by their peers, the highest level of respect. Special, special human being makes you, humbles you just being next to him. Like he's, well, he's my favorite. Put the shot down the ice, a race for it, Lindsay going after it, going in, and he scores!